YouTube, Shugun Shinobi here with a review of the Russia Sentai Tokyujur Sekishoku Oraito Yudo Breaker. So this is the traffic signal. I think they have a proper term that I don't really know, um, but like air traffic controllers on the ground and the tarmacs use them and construction workers use them and everything to guide um, big heavy vehicles and such through traffic stuff. That is a description that was penned all by myself. <laughs> but here we go. It includes the Drill Russia and obviously the toy. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look. And here we are. So this was released in June 2014 for 4,200 yen. So about $42. Um, as you can see, it's not really all that bad of a size. Um, if you hold on the handle right there. It's not the biggest thing in the world, but um, given the actual size of these sort of things, um, it's not too bad. Um, it's a little bit stubbier than the real-life counterparts, but um, as a whole, it's not that bad. And for kids, which this toy is absolutely meant for, it, uh, it probably feels a lot more real-world than it would to the adult collectors. Uh, it's it's not bad. I like the way that it looks uh, for what it is. The clear red plastic through the chamber is uh, pretty neat, and there is a bunch of LEDs in there which look pretty cool once you get attacking. So without further ado, let's go ahead and snap it on. It's right back here. The battery compartment is down here in the handle. I think it takes two triple A's. So as I said, LEDs right up here. Trigger down here. We're going to focus on the pretty LED portion of the toy. So you got two different LED patterns and two different sounds. So that's pretty cool. And that's all it does without a Russia. Um, there isn't any sort of hold down feature or anything like that. Um, it can't transform like the uh, Tokyo Blast or anything like that. It is uh, stuck just like this. It does have a little compartment that flips open when this is switched. So flip that up and lock it in place. Included is the Drill Russia. We'll take a look at the sounds and functionality of that after we take a look at this. So lock that in place, flip the switch, and close it. I'm going to do that one more time. There are different attack patterns, but uh, keep an eye on this attack pattern. And then there is another uh, attack after you unlatch it and close it again. It's not super different, but it is certainly different than the last one. So one more time on that. There we go. And there is a third sound in here that's a little bit hidden. If you cycle through this the magic five times that uh, Bandai really likes doing with their toys. Uh, so if you cycle through this five times, you get a all new sound. So while the attack sound didn't change, the announcer got really bored and I assume really fed up on the fact that you keep doing over and over again because I know I would be too. It's actually really obnoxious. So to take out the Russia, just pop this open and pop it out. There's no reader in here whatsoever, so you can go ahead and insert uh, the drill Russia. That is the build Russia, not the drill Russia. Or you can take your ever popular red Russia, stick that in there. So any Russia will fit in here as long as it doesn't have any sort of um, 
extra pieces or anything like that that would kind of stop it from entering the chamber. So as long as it fits in there, it will work. Like I said, there's no reader, so it doesn't really matter what you shove in there. It will, it will work. Well, you probably should put a Russia in there, uh, not foreign bodies. But without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the drill Russia in the Tokyo Changer. So like the Scope Russia before it, the Drill Russia does have functionality with Tokyo. And unlike the Scope Russia, it's actually been used in the show. So that is helpful. Uh, there is a port back there as per normal and this does rotate. Albeit manually, but it does rotate. It'd be nice if there was some sort of like wheel turning function or something like that. But anyway, just go ahead and pop off Pink Russia or Yellow Russia if you so incline and pop that in and now you are Tokyo o Drill. So it's got a drill arm and it can pierce the heavens and obligatory Duran Lagan reference. So all in all, the Udo Breaker, like the Xander Thunder before it, just isn't all that playable. It's got some neat sounds and some pretty LEDs in the chamber, barrel, whatever, blade, you want to call it, I don't know. There. But uh, outside of that, it don't do a whole lot, and it just isn't really all that fun. The Drill Russia is pretty cool. It does rotate manually, uh, so that's something at least. But given the fact that we're more than likely going to get a Gashapon and candy toy versions of the Drill Russia, dropping $42 on this thing just to get a Drill Russia isn't really all that worth it. Now, of course, this Drill Russia does attach to Tokyo O and Diesel O and Build Dio and all that fun stuff. So if that's important to you, then by all means, try to hunt this down on a sale. I still cannot recommend picking this up for the normal retail price. It just doesn't do a whole lot. So keep it on your radar if the Drill Russia is something important to you that can uh, attach to the Robos. But um, if that's not any sort of big deal to you, then by all means, I would probably pass on this. Unless you're a super fan of Tokyo Rokugo and really need his stuff, it just doesn't offer a whole lot of fun. So thanks for watching, take care, and have a great one. Bye.